Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Rachel Cooks with Love. Now as you can see, I am not in Texas anymore. I'm in my Ohio kitchen. We arrived here a couple of days ago and from now on my videos will be from here. So anyway, today I'm going to be fixing a fantastic dish. Actually, it's one of my favorites. It's enchiladas suizas and I'm going to be filling them with chicken. So let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put my chicken to boil. I've got two chicken breasts. They're boneless right here and they're ready to go. I've got some hot water here that I've got. So I'm going to put them in here like this. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and grind my peppercorns. I have half a teaspoon and I have two garlic cloves. And I'm going to go ahead and grind them and then put them into the water. Because I think that when I grind my garlic and my peppercorns, I get the maximum taste out of them. I feel like if I throw the garlic into the water with pepper, I don't have its maximum taste. So I like to grind them and then put them in there. So I've got my peppercorns and my garlic cloves nice and grounded here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add them into the water. I'm gonna add some water in here. Just like that. And I've got a fourth of an onion. I'm gonna go ahead and put this fourth of an onion in here too. And I'm gonna put some salt. I'm gonna cover them up and wait till it comes to a nice boil. Now while my chicken is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and boil my tomatillos. I've got some serrano peppers. I went ahead and removed the seed because I want a little bit of spice into my sauce, but I don't want it to be so hot that I don't enjoy eating them. So I went ahead and removed the seeds from my serrano peppers and I have two and a half and then my tomatillos. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them to boil too. And I've got some water here. And I'm gonna put them in for just a few minutes until they lose their bright green color. And it'll be about 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna put them to boil like that. So my tomatillos are ready. I'm gonna go ahead and throw out the water. They just started changing colors. As you can see, some are still a little dark right here. These have already started, but I don't like to wait too long because they can get really bitter on you. And so I like to take them out when they're still kind of like half and half of the two colors. So since they're very hot, I'm gonna drop them into my blender. Just like that. And I'm going to let them cool for just a little bit. So my chicken is ready. I'm going to go ahead and get it off the stove. Ooh, it smells so good. I'm just going to put it on a plate and let it cool. And I'm going to be using some of this broth, so. And, you know, I left my tomatillos in here, and they're nice and cool. I'm going to go ahead and add some cilantro. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add my cilantro in here. Ooh, the cilantro just smells so delicious. You know, my Ron doesn't even like it. Well, he likes it because he eats it in all the meals that I make, but... He, he does wrinkle his nose. So I put my cilantro in there and I'm gonna go, go ahead and put a, just a little piece of some cream cheese. Just 
like this. Just a piece. See? Then I'm going to add a little bit of my broth. I don't want some of that chicken to go in there, so... And I think that's good. I do like some of the broth in there because I don't want it to be real thick, but I don't want it to be real watery either. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of my chicken bouillon. And I'm gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon. Just like that. And I'm gonna blend it up really good. So this is nice and ready. Now, if you noticed, I didn't add any onions to it because I like my onions over here when I make my sauce on the stove. And I like to see bits of the onion. So that's why I didn't do it like that. I'm gonna put in a little bit of butter. Oh, I would say about, about a tablespoon of butter. And I'm gonna put in a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit. Oh, a little more like that. I'm gonna add my onions. I'm gonna saute them around just a little bit until they crystallize. I'm gonna add my garlic in here. Now I'm not doing my garlic in my molcajete because if I do that, then I'd have to put in a little bit of water and I don't wanna do that. So I'm, do, I'm using my microplane for the garlic. Ooh, the onion smells so good. So you see all this garlic right here? It's so nice and soft. You want every little bit because it is just so good. And I'm just gonna saute my garlic into my onions like this. And they're already crystallizing really nicely. Just for about a minute because you don't want your garlic to burn. I'm gonna use my crema over here, but I don't like to add a lot of crema in here or a lot of cream cheese. I just like to add enough cream cheese to where it'll give it just a very good taste. And it also neutralizes the acidity of the tomatillos. So I like to do it over here and just a little bit to maintain the good color. So if you can see now, these onions are nice and soft and they are ready. See, like that. And the garlic has been in there about a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my mixture in there. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and add some crema. And you don't wanna go crazy with the crema either. You just wanna add just enough to give it that really good taste. And I always put in about, I would say it's about two to three tablespoons of the crema. And you know, we added the chicken bouillon into the blender. So it's just probably gonna be perfect with the salt. In a little bit, I'm gonna taste it. And then I'm gonna do that adjusting. And I think that's good for the crema. Now you can add as much as you want. Now you know, a lot of people like to put their onions into the blender and whip it all up and the onions get lost. But I like to put the onions in here and I like to saute them and I like to know that there's little chunks of that. You really can't see the onions, but they just taste so good and so fresh like that with the garlic in there. 
but you can do it any way you want. And I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. Now I've got half a teaspoon of sugar in here. And don't let the sugar scare you. It neutralizes a little bit of the acidity. Sugar just does something to it so good. So I'm going to go ahead and just cover it up and leave it on simmer. And I'm going to clean up my area and get started on my chicken. So my chicken is nice and cool. I'm going to go ahead and... Now, you can go ahead and shred it if you want to. You can just, you know, just shred it like this. A lot of people do it like that, but I don't see any reason why we can't just chop it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to chop it up like this. And the reason for that is because I noticed that when I make my enchiladas with chicken, if, if they're in long little strips, sometimes you cut into it with a fork and the strip doesn't cut all the way through. And I don't like the messiness, so I like to chop mine. I don't like my chicken very chunky. I like to cut it up into small pieces, just like that. See, and it's just so moist. You don't want to overcook your chicken either. You want it to be nice and moist because if you overcook it, then your enchiladas are real dry. So I'm done with my chicken. So anyway, I'm gonna clean up my area and then I'm gonna get started on my tortillas. So I've got my area clean. Now let's look at our, our sauce over here. So I've had it on low for about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna turn off my stove. See, see how pretty and green that looks. Ooh, and it smells so good. I'm just gonna let it sit here for a little bit and let it cool. Now, when you make your tomatillo sauce like that, you don't wanna cook it for too long. Remember that you don't want your tomatillo sauce to be very acidic. That's why I boil my tomatillos just quickly, like less than 10 minutes, and then I try and stick to like 15 minutes in my pan, and that is it. So I'm gonna get started on my tortillas. So I'm going to heat up my pan and get my oil hot for my tortillas. So I'm just going to put in a little bit of vegetable oil in here. Just a little bit like that. Just enough so that I can just put them in and out. So now that I've got my oil in here, I'm just going to wait for my oil to get nice and hot. And I've got some tor corn tortillas here that I made yesterday. Now these are homemade corn tortillas. And I like to use them, you know, I use tortillas from the day before. Because if you use a freshly made tortillas, they get very soggy and they can fall apart. But tortillas from the day before are nice and firm and they hold up really, really well. But if you don't have corn tortillas freshly made, you can use store-bought. And I've done that many a times. It just so happens that I wanted to use these. So my oil is nice and hot. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put them into the oil, turn them around, pass them through the oil, and take them out. And I've got a plate here with some paper napkins so that we can remove some of that extra oil. See, just like that. Now, a lot. if you don't like them through the oil, then you can just warm them up like in your mi microwave, but I don't like them like that at all. They're just not the same. If you want good enchilada suizas, you're just going to have to do it like this. So you just want to pass them through the oil like that. Let them get a little hot. Then flip them over. Just like that. And you'll feel them getting really nice and soft. You see? See how soft they are? And I'm gonna do that to all of them. So this is my last one. I'm gonna turn off my stove. 
I'm gonna clean up my area and get ready to prepare my cheese. So I've got my cheese ready. I had prepared it a little earlier. Now I'm gonna be using Oaxaca cheese. Now if you don't have Oaxaca cheese, you can use queso manchego, you can use mozzarella. They all work good. So, now in this dish right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of my tomatillo sauce in the bottom. Just like that. Just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get situated here. Move this over. So I'm gonna get my tortillas and I'm just gonna put them in through here, just like that. And I'm gonna put some chicken in there like that. And some cheese. I'm gonna roll them up. And put them right here, like that. See, that's why it helps to let your your sauce get a little cool because it's easy to work with. And there's nothing wrong with letting it cool a little bit. Like that. I like to put in just enough to where they're nice and chubby. I don't want them real thin, you know. A little messy but it's worth it and here's my last one I like to leave just a little bit of space in between them. Just a little bit like this. Not too, too close. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my sauce on top. I like to put all the sauce just like that. You can't let any of this good stuff go to waste. Put it like this. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the oven. I've got it set at 350, just enough so that the cheese can melt.
So my enchiladas are ready. I'm gonna turn off my oven. These look delicious. Mm. Mm. They're delicious. These are my enchiladas suizas with chicken, and they're absolutely delicious. Now, traditionally, we serve these with rice on the side, Mexican rice on the side. We serve them with some refried beans. As a matter of fact, my white rice that I made not too long ago would go perfect with this. I'm gonna put a link below if you'd like to look at that recipe. Now, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Share this with your friends. Send me a comment. Tell me what you think of my video. And thank you very much.